I don't follow trends. I don't like to follow trends. I strictly talk about what's going on in my investment life and any other things that I want to talk to you about. And I feel like God put me puts in my mind for me to talk to you about in regards to making money. What else do you have to do? You gotta just start investing. Welcome to the million dollar challenge. So in today's video, we are going to touch upon some few things. This video is gonna be brief. As you probably may know, those of you that are a regular viewer of my channel, that on this channel, I don't follow trends. I don't like to follow trends. And I primarily talk about money on this channel. But at the end of the day, that's what I really matter. We need to be on this planet. We need to survive, we need to make money. Occasionally, I'll talk about different different things anyways with that rant out of the way i just feel like i need to tell you that so in today's video we are going to talk about toro and i've had my first experience with vehicle delisting okay recently toro delisted one of my vehicles due to a manufacturer recall so now i looked into it further and what i discovered was that the part is not going to come in until the second quarter which is in like six months right so now i'm with a vehicle that potentially is not going to be making money for the next six months so it would be very interesting to see how to navigate this all right because like Zero does not allow you to rent cars that has an active recall on it now it's up to the manufacturers to quickly get the parts that they need or get the parts made or get it corrected or whatnot that they need to replace that particular issue so like this is going to be interesting to see how this turned out so i thought let me go ahead and do a quick video is a documentation of my financial journey you know every single part of it so this is a significant part that i thought i should share with you so with that being said let's go to the computer and uh, we're gonna get things started and chopping things up okay, okay so let's get into this and talk about this and just break everything down okay so the first thing that happened is Turo they notify you right they notify you and let you know what's going on in terms of the recall and here's a notice here you're gonna get a small no notice like this that's telling you why they you know temporarily disabled your car so basically they said that my Ford or the focus has been unlisted for a safety recall and then they tell you know how to go go about doing it first you have to contact your local dealership then you have you can once the dealership and the government agency the nhtsa that's a government agency that is in charge of making sure that you know all vehicles on the road are safe and i'm going to show you their website very soon because like there's nothing you can do when a government agency that is in charge of the road tells you this car is not road worthy so even if you're driving it for your personal car probably won't be a good idea to drive it because they've probably had numerous issues with that particular thing that is why they did a recall on it okay so this one says once once the repair has been made your manufacturer will register your vehicle basically when you take it to the dealership and they fix it they will let you know okay and then the government agency will update the database that that issue has been fixed for your car and you're able to drive it again now this issue is a pretty big deal okay so this issue when i look into it by clicking on this website and when you click on this website this is where it takes you so it's this agency that issued the recall okay and you know at any given point you can always search your vin to see you know if your car has a recall or the car that you're trying to buy if it has a recall this is where you search that vein okay you can search it right right here and uh, you're able to put your vehicle identification number put in here you search for it and it gives you any recall issue that has been issued by you know this federal government agency so when i got that notice and then i pull up their website right so this is the website here and what you do is you can put your vein in here and once you do the search it will pull pull up your vein and that's exactly what i did for that vehicle and this is the safety recall 
on that car the government from the federal government and uh, is one problem and basically they will tell you what the issue is i'm not a mechanic i have no idea what that issue is right and they will tell you the level of risk and stuff like that and then they tell you what the remedy is now when i read through it this is what really baffled me towards the very end here they said okay ford motor company is working closely with its suppliers to produce parts for this to produce parts for this repair when parts become available ford motor company will notify you via mail to schedule to to schedule a service appointment now that service appointment personally i would go ahead and try to get in now as soon as possible so when i'm recording this video is on a on a weekend so i can't really get through to the, the local service ford service company that is close by me so i'm gonna be working on trying to get a hold of an appointment as soon as possible so i can be the first in line when this when they have the parts now this is the part that is a little bit annoying because like this seems like a major issue they said they are not going to have these parts or have it resolved you know and have it available second quarter okay a quarter is three months so we're looking at six months of this car not being out there working so now a recall can happen to any vehicle right it can happen to any vehicle all type of vehicles have been recalled in the past so it's not anything that you have control over but at the same time this made me realize that i need to have diversification in my fleet all right and this is the vehicle that has been unlisted this is one of the cars that goes out a lot and people use this car a lot so like the chevy sonic is the only car that is different in my fleet so i've i've only been purchasing ford they were they are really available in my state and they very very cheap parts are always available for them and mechanics know how to fix them right because it's an american car so that's why i primarily stay with stay with it but what this has made me realize is that you kind of need to diversify your fleet so in case stuff like this happen you know like you can be okay because this car can basically not make money it's not gonna make money for half of this year basically and the year is slow in my area first two months of the year is very slow but towards like ending february march is very very busy now so thank god that i was able to add this new car to the fleet right i just recently added this car to the fleet i just have to put a few more things in the car and get it ready for the road it is what it is you just have to keep on going and keep on pushing this is some ad adversity that you can't control and it is what it is so I just wanted to put out this video so you know i know i'm gonna get some comments don't buy four they're not good but at the same time i've had good experience with them so in terms of money that i should make it should be pretty balanced but it's pretty much going to suck that this year i'm not going to get money make money for this car at all because this is gonna this is being recalled and i think that i just added this this car and you know they're doing it for everybody's safety i'm sure it's because lots of people have complained in the past about that issue so there's nothing they can do they just have to fix it so i will i'm, I'm glad i put this car on this year it will make up for this car being idle and you know like other videos about everything that has to do with my business so i thought let me do a video on it and once this issue gets resolved i'll do an update video on the process and everything like that so this would be awesome to get this resolved it's a little bit of a setback but it is what it is you just do what you gotta do and keep it pushing so thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate you until next time see you later love you all bye